Hey, baby girl, how you doing? Hey, Dad. Yeah. So I'm glad you asked me to come over and see you. You know, I don't get to see you as much as I'd like to see you. So my baby girl, call me over and say you want to talk to me about something. What do you want to talk about? Right. So about the whole baby girl thing, mm -hmm. actually, I don't really, I'm not comfortable with it. Um, I wanted to tell you that I'm non-binary and Ooh. I use they, them pronouns now. So... See, now I call you baby girl because you got your older sister, that's the big girl. You got your brother, that's your brother, that's the boy. So I was trying to give you something special, but binary, non-binary, binary, what'd you say? Non-binary, not on the binary. And you saying them, they, that's what gay people say. Well, yeah, but you know, not exactly. You're kind of close. It's just a different kind of pronoun for me, other than she and her. Okay, so but are you gay? Do you like girls? I mean, I yes. Now you was raised in the church. You was taught that that is an abomination to God. That you will go to hell for participating in that type of activity. Are you are you confused or something? No, I'm not confused. I mean, see, this is what happened when they take when they take a uh, prayer out of the school. When they take the prayer out of school, and then they want to introduce all this stuff, and all these television shows, they always gotta have some gay parade bullshit on there. And and now you you want to tell me, but you you got a boyfriend? How you gay? I like both. I can like both. What? That's not even. So you bisexual? Yes, and non-binary. They're what's, two what's different the things. What is the difference? No, God made Adam and he made Eve. He ain't made a man, he made a woman. He didn't make binary and non-binary. That what that sounds like some emotional thing, like something maybe you're confused or something like that. No, I'm pretty sure. No, do you not love your family? Do you not understand my standing in the church, my standing in the community? How can I, you know, stand there and face the church and face all my friends and family and think, you think your family's gonna like this? Your uncle, your uncle's a pastor. And, and you're gonna embarrass the family by trying to claim some non-binary, you like men, women, and, hell, you like dogs, cats too? <sighs> no, I'm just saying, this, 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 this is this is what the world is coming to and this is, this is, this is some bull. Man, woman. XX chromosome. XY chromosome. You got XX chromosome. There's more than just those two combinations. And they don't even have anything to do with your gender identity. Where in the Bible does it say that? The Bible clearly states that uh, a man who lies with another man as with a woman is an abomination to God. So you're willing to risk your soul and disappoint God. Because you can't claim that you believe in Jesus and and, and and do these kind of things. When you see all these little gay people out here running around talking about they worship Jesus and all that, no, God is going to have a reckoning with them, and God going to have a reckoning with you. Just like I'm going to have a reckoning with you. How dare you? How dare you do this to the family? I mean, what? We supposed to just accept some little, you come in with a little girl, we supposed to accept that? We supposed to still treat that person like a regular person? Yes. Why? That's an abomination. Matter of fact, Paul said in Romans that for a person who commits sexual immoralities, that we should take their bodies and destroy their bodies, give it over to Satan so that their soul can rise in heaven. Is that what you want? I, I don't really want my body destroyed, but I also don't really think that matters here. How does it not matter? This is the word of God. I mean... God said you will not raise this way. Yes, if it's in the Bible, then God said it because the Bible is inspired by God. But didn't people write the Bible? Like people Because you don't they even were know? inspired by God. And sexual immorality such as this is an abomination. Well, we'll just have to agree to disagree. So, no, there's, there's no agree to disagree. How can you claim yourself to be my daughter? So you're not my daughter anymore? You were them? Well, on your birth certificate, you don't say them. That they don't put pronouns on birth certificates. For a reason. It's 
This is a Christian sex. country. We have a we don't separation do of church and state. That's this isn't. That's just so that theocracy doesn't take over the government, but the government is based on Christian ideology. This is a Christian country. Don't you think maybe there should be a separation? Her mom, I'm disappointed in you. I, I'm, I'm just totally disappointed. Uh, all the semantics be damned. Because that's what you are. You are damned now. You have condemned yourself to go to hell. You won't be there with the rest of your family. Uh -huh. You'll burn in hell as a child of Satan. Plain and simple. Is that what you want? Sure. No, no, that's not what you want. You're confused by this world, by the devil and the evil spirits and principalities of this world. This, this is why you need to come to church so we can pray this away from you. We can pray these demons out of you. Because that's what it is. You got demons inside you. And these demons have corrupted your mind and they're corrupting your, your sexual thought processes. So we gotta pray these things out of you. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta go to the pastor, go to the church, from a call, and we're gonna have a, a prayer meeting, and we're gonna bring you in, and we're gonna pray this out of you, because we're gonna save you through the blood of Jesus Christ. We're gonna baptize you again, so we can wash you and cleanse you with the blood of Christ, who came and died for your sins. You think God, that Jesus got time to be, be be dying for these types of sins when there's so many other things going on in the world? These are the sins that you're gonna bother Jesus with. I mean, doesn't he die for all the sins technically? So um, if it is, wouldn't it? I don't think. That really, I don't think the quantity really changes his death. Oh my, sacrilegious. That is blasphemy. This is not funny, Simone. I'm just saying. This is not funny. He died for all of them. See, you are, you are taking the Lord's name in vain. You are making fun of the Lord. You're mocking God. And mocking God is another uh, way for you to go to hell. It's another abomination. All right, Dad. Well, it was good talking to you. Oh, we ain't, we not done. We not, we going to the church. It's good talking to you, but we going to the church. And until you get this right, until you get this right, you may not be my daughter no more. <sighs> right, you right on out this family. I ain't going for this. 